I was actually manager for 50 farmers. I managed to visit them twice a month. I started with feeding management, explain on how to feed according to ratio, also milking techniques on how to milk, cleanliness, maintenance of all those things, cleaning of water rust and feeder rust. Also, I assist farmers in silage making, in planting of different varieties of grasses, and some we practically assist them how to milk. We introduced some of farmers who start milking by use of machines, and we show them how to, to use the machine for milking. Also, we help them on how to get resources, e.g. Our society has an acrofet, so we advise them to come and buy weeds in, in the acrofet. The milk production has already increased for the farmers we have been visited, and like the farmers who are not getting the DFA services. Again, farmers have already known how to feed the animals. They have all the experience we have shown them, and they can continue practicing the same way. This DFA model is, uh, I, if I compare with the trainings which are, were done through the cooperative and the one we are, we are visiting the farmers at home, for real, this one we are visiting homes, households, is really doing it than the, the other one which we call for a meeting and teach them in a group. Because <coughs> if you visit a farmer, a farmer is free to, to tell you anything according to his, the way the animal is and like the other if they were in a group or, yeah, they cannot tell you anything. I experience more challenges, like visiting the farmer, and you find that uh, in that house, you find that dogs, in security, when we want to do our work, the dogs are there. Uh, another challenge is, when you visit a farmer, you find him, he's not there, and then when a uh, supervisor who is supervising us reaches out to him, he said that we are not going there and, le and yet you have gone and you did not find anybody there. Another challenge is transportation. It was also time consuming going from one farmer to another. So I don't think that all farmers get exactly the maximum of the extensions they need because of that time and distancing from from one farmer to another.